Okay, so this is a quick and basic uh, tutorial introducing new pilots to the data cartridge, or DTC. I'll be using the Weapon Delivery Planner, or WDP, and this can easily be downloaded. Uh, just Google search Weapon Delivery Planner, and it should be the first link on there. If you're a 20th VFW member, um, it is also in one of the file browsers on our TeamSpeak channel. I can't remember which file browser it's under, but it should be easy to find. Now again, this will be very basic, uh, just setting up the bare minimum uh, you need to get flying that will be loaded into every mission you fly, pretty much, like uh, chaff and flare, MFD pages, things of that nature. You can technically set these up all in BMS, um, but I prefer to use the WDP because it's a bit easier to navigate. So when you first pull up WDP, it's going to ask you for your default install path of BMS and your uh, call sign. You just type that in there and it should automatically find everything. If it doesn't or you need to check, you can go up here to settings and it will show you the default path right here. And you can browse if you need to change that. And to change the call sign, you go here to DTC, Pilot Nelius under the main tab. And you can click change, type in the uh, call sign and hit accept and it should automatically find that. Now under this DTC page is where we're going to edit our data cartridge. So we're going to start with the EWS tab and this is the chaff and flare programs. We have six of them. Uh, I only use five. Um, Programs 1 through 4 are controlled by the uh, knob on the CMDS panel down on the lower left of the cockpit in the actual jet. And program 5 is the slap switch, which is, I just have a switch mapped to my throttle. I use that as the, oh crap, I need to get out of here, um, dump flare switch. So all of this is really personal preference, um, but you need to at least set up I would recommend setting up at least one chaff program and then setting up flares for the slap switch. Um, for example, here you have on each one you have BQ burst quantity, uh, BI burst interval, SQ salvo quantity, and SI salvo interval. So my program one is just one bundle of chaff shot out twice with a half second interval between. And then for program 5, my slap switch is a whole bunch of flares. So that way if, if I get jumped and somebody shoots an IR missile at me, I can just hit the slap switch, dump flares without having to look down and fumble for this little switch to change it to program 3 or program 4 or whatever. But again, it's all personal preference. Over here on control, uh, the only thing I have selected is bingo and it's set to 5 for flare and chaff. Um, so in my flare and chaff amount gets down to 5, I'll have a, a, an audible warning saying flare low or chaff low. Now if you change anything, you'll notice that this green light turned to red. It means you have made a change that is unsaved, so we're going to save DTC. And it's good practice to hit that whenever you change anything on any page. So now we have the EWS set up. Go to the MFD tab. And these are your MFD pages. If you don't have this set up, you will basically have blank MFDs. So they're split up into the modes, air to ground, air to air, nav, missile override, and dogfight override. MFD 1 is your left MFD, MFD 2 is your right. Uh, 3 and 4 are not used in the F-16. I think those may be for some other jets that you can possibly fly, I'm not sure. But a very basic setup, and this is what I have. Um, left MFD, everything is the FCR, um, or the radar. And everything on the right MFD is the HSD. Um, what was that? Horizontal Situational Display, I think. Um, and the SMS, Stores Management System. So, and this is all you really need. Radar, um some kind of map-like thing to maintain your situational awareness and access to weapons info. 
that's basically all you need to start with. Um, other stuff like targeting pod to TGP or um, any other pages you might need, you can either, I personally add those in the JIP when I'm starting it because you can add them manually or you can just go up here and click the uh, drop down and, and pick something. The uh, check marks here uh, select the basically default page um, and that's all personal preference. I also have bullseye on MFD selected. Um, bullseye is a whole another subject that I'll probably get into later. So let's save that to DTC. Okay, radio and nav tab is next. And these should default to blue site, I believe, or just default. Yeah, there we go. So I, I, I pretty much default those out to um, set all the presets and frequencies back to where they should be. Nav offsets, you just need to check and make sure that reference is off. If there's any numbers in here, um, just hit none and that will reset everything. Systems tab, uh, you just need to make sure that the master mode is set to nav. All this other stuff you can leave it as it is that you can change in the jet. And that's all you need to get started. Once you jump in a jet and load the uh, data cartridge, um, all your MFD settings and chaff and flare settings, radio settings, all that good stuff will automatically be loaded and you'll be good to go.